This week, it's stop number three of one of the premier team trails in the country, the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. And we're on Lake Belton, a small reservoir in the heart of Texas with a big reputation. Look at that beautiful Belton Lake Bass. Belton Lake is a 2,000 acre reservoir on the Leon River in Central Texas. And like most hill country reservoirs, holds a good population of largemouth bass. But the lake is really known as one of the best smallmouth fisheries in the state. It's fishing good, it's fishing real good. You can catch lots of fish out there right now. I mean, it, this, this one in front of us, it can be one in any direction. Deep, shallow, it don't, it don't make any difference. I mean, they're, they're, they're at all stages right now. We've got more than 200 teams on hand, each looking for a share of the $93,000 total purse, including a brand new Stratos boat for first. Also in play is the points race for the prestigious Lucas Oil Team of the Year. Brannon Meyer and Ben Matsubu have been on fire this season, and as a result, they're sitting on top of the standings. But we've got a big field and a tough fishery, so we expect a shakeup by day's end. Checking the conditions on Belton, the water temperature's in the mid-60s, and the bass are still shallow. Getting out on the water for the start of tournament coverage, we'll kick things off with Glenn Neff and Tom Beckwith. Free fishing was, was good, even though it was a little breezy. We had um, smallmouth, you know, are pretty proliferate around here. They just jump everywhere. The problem is they're not 14 inches, most of them. Um, so for every five, you might catch one that's 14 inches, but the large mouth, um, all of them were, you know, three pounds, two and a half, three pounds. So um, we're hoping to get a bite or two like that this morning. He's down. I don't know how good he's hooked. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that, that. Oh, jeez. Out from under the boat. There he goes, get him. Oh, oh. Ah, 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 ah. Crap, crap, crap. Come on, out here. Get behind him. All right, I'm gonna turn him. Get him. Felt a lot bigger than he is. <sighs> you believe that? Hit like a freight train. Thirteen and a quarter. Have a nice day. We're just getting started here on Lake Belton. Stay with us. There's a lot more tournament coverage ahead right here on the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. It won't win a beauty contest. Might win a fishing contest. For 85 bucks, you can bring it all without spending it all. Cabela's Advanced Angler's Tackle Bag. Great price. Lifetime guarantee. Only at Cabela's. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Total performance. Nowhere could it be more defined than in the Ranger Z series. With unparalleled advancements, these rigs are driven to dominate. Coupled with Evan Root e Tech's unrivaled performance and up to 500 hours with no dealer schedule maintenance, 
They're the ultimate fishing machines. The legendary leadership of the Ranger Z500 series. It's the kind of feeling nothing else can touch. Power your Ranger with Evan Rudita. Introducing a revolutionary concept in outboards, a choice. Now with the Evan Root E-Tech G2, you can choose unrivaled performance, superior fuel economy, and the cleanest combustion outboard on the planet. Choose from hundreds of color combinations to perfectly match your boat. And choose five years or 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Experience the power of choice at chooseyouretech.com. Lucas Oil Marine Product, established by performance, built on quality, and proven on land and sea. Lucas Marine Products offer a complete lineup of outboard engine oils, fuel treatments, lubricants, and boat care products. Expect optimal performance from your investment by using Lucas Marine Products. Available at Cabela's. Keeps ice for days, stays tough for a lifetime. For 250 bucks, you'll be one happy camper. Cabela's Polar Cap Equalizer Cooler. Great price, lifetime guarantee. Only at Cabela's. This portion of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's is brought to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. By Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. And by Lucas Oil. It works. Welcome back to the heart of Central Texas and Belton Lake. Stop number three in the 2017 season of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. We'll get right back into tournament coverage with the team of Charles Whited and Ricky Scott. That's the ugliest bait I've ever seen in my life. What, which one? The one you're throwing. That is ugly. We weren't gonna do smallmouth, but now we are. We got a good number, so, and we got a lot of wind and a little bit of overcast, so we're gonna try to catch some smallmouth, and then we're gonna run up the river and uh, put our heads down and try to catch a couple kicker fish. Um, they got a full field, or 20, 225 boats right now, and uh, it's gonna fish a little small, but you know we're just gonna hopefully try to get a couple key fish early. There you go. Good. There's you. Hope for smallies get large mouth. Now we're four bites away. Picked up a finesse worm just trying to get a bite fishing the stick ups like we've been doing up the river and caught one almost four. That's just, you just gotta go junk fishing at Belton. Your call, either you wanna make one more loop around this pocket? Yeah, we'll go down, we'll go down and back again. Cliff Brown and Scott Meads are local anglers. They're throwing moving baits across a shallow point and it's beginning to pay off. That's a small mouth there. <laughs> Keeper. Yeah, measuring. Statewide regulations require a minimum Can't length of 14 inches for both largemouth and smallmouth bass. This one will keep, and it's fish number one. Yeah. Keep? Yep. Belton is known for their smallmouth population. Matter of fact, the, the biologists think it's one of the best smallmouth lakes in the state. There's some good ones in here. Back on Charles Whited and Ricky Scott. Net. Oh my God. I'm gonna just really moan in. So this. Yeah, you ready? Do a little happy day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
that, that's a that's a belt and four pounds. That's a stun. That's why I bring Rick. <laughs> Whited and Scott are off to a good start. Coming up, tournament coverage continues from Belton Lake oh, yeah, and the bro. Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. And now, the Texas Team Trail Ram Facts, brought to you by Dodge Ram. Out here, we're hostile, cold, and cruel. Our way of life. There's no better way to live. Guts, glory, ram. Introducing Velo, short for Velocity. Born to drive 150 horses, faster than ever before. Its physique makes Velo more fishable, gear more accessible, prey more vulnerable. Velo, from Straps. The most versatile fishing machine on Earth, unparalleled resolution and clarity, with more agility, lightning speed, and brute strength. HDS Carbon takes rapid response performance and screen technology to an all new level. Maximized power, maximized visibility. See Structure Scan 3D, new dual chirp sonar, new live network sonar, and more mapping options, all at the same time and faster than ever before. Arm yourself. <laughs> This portion of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's is brought to you by Stratos Boats. The right quality, the right performance, all at the right price. Evan Rood, proven power, proven reliability by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. And by Mercury, go boldly. Welcome back to Belton Lake and the third event in the 2017 season of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. Nestled in the hills 60 miles north of Austin, the area in and around Belton, Killeen, and Temple offer plenty of adventure and recreation for the entire family. Well, you know, it's, it's not just for the individual sportsmen, it's really designed for the family as well. Um, you can come out and you can do anything from water slides to, um, you know, the trails, to boating, to fishing, to swimming, and we've got a nice little beach here too. So great, great family lo location, so. This is the trail's second trip in the region, and the people could not be more accommodating. This is very, very big for the community as well. Um, we look forward to, of course, number one, uh, the CBB. We're looking to um, promote Colleen as a tourist destination, promote Central Texas as, as a tourist de destination. Um, it's, it's a huge draw for us, and not only that, come, having people come in, eat in our restaurants, um, visit our local hotels, and uh, just draw people to the community and show them what we have to offer. For information on visiting the area, please check out DestinationCentralTexas.com. Getting back to tournament coverage, we'll check in with Phil Marks and Tim Renault. You know, goal is to have three good ones by noon, and then uh, that would kind of put us ahead of the curve, which we feel like we've done. It's uh, 1225, and we've got three that weigh, you know, nine pounds or so, and, um, you know, one good bite, another three pounder, give you a shot at this lake. So, you know, fishing pressure just takes its toll. I mean, we're not doing anything out of the ordinary. I mean, just fishing these little sticks and and flipping them. And you know, as you can see, there's a boat up there doing the same thing. So, it's just a matter of executing better than the next guy. 
there. Checking back with yep. Cliff Brown and Scott um, Meads. I don't know. He's got crazy. He was all the way up on that bank. Keep our good our rock. That's what we like to catch on Lake Belton. Nice smallmouth. Well, if we could call him today, that'd be nice. He's been caught before. Moving on, we'll check in with Lance Robelia and Russell Parrish. There he is, yes, sir. It's midday. They're fishing shallow and work. still working on a limit. Uh, we only got three right now. Uh, two blacks and one little smallmouth. It's uh, it's a lot slower than it was yesterday. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's because of the overcasty conditions or just everybody out here practicing yesterday and many teams as it is on this lake that's, you know, it's like, I don't know, 11, 12,000 acres. So the pressure may have got to it a little bit. Good one, Alty. Oh yeah, we need that. Oh yeah, that'll work. That wasn't the one that hit me. <laughs> good job, RP. Let's put this on the good side. I told you it'd be on the inside of that point. Yeah. That fish will help but the clock is becoming a factor. Stay with us. We'll be right back with the final moments of tournament coverage, and then we'll head to weigh-in from Belton Lake and stop number three of the 2017 Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. If you're in the market for a new boat, we encourage you to check out the Texas Team Trail network of boat dealers. Support those that help support the Texas Team Trail. Mercury engine tab. Fuel efficiency you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. TRX, the bold new family of bass boats from Triton. Seven awesome models from 18 and a half to nearly 22 feet. TRX, huge casting decks, massive storage compartments, extreme Triton performance. TRX, the boat for back-to-back -back classic champions, ready to rocket you to the winner's circle. TRX. With Triton, having it all has never been so easy. Oh, nice shot. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. New trolling motor? Yep. Can I touch it? I wouldn't. Minkota Fortrex. Now with 112 pounds of thrust and a restraining order. You've been warned. This portion of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's is brought to you by Triton Boats. We take America fishing. And by Arctic Ice. We put the cool in coolers. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Welcome back to Belton Lake in Central Texas. It's been a challenging day for many, and the first wave of teams are headed back to Live Oak Pavilion for weigh-in. 
There's more than $90,000 up for grabs today, and we're just about ready to give it all away. But first, we'll get back out on the water for the final moments of tournament competition. Yeah. This is the team of Brian Brown and Tommy Sugar. Never mind. Is he a small one? Yeah, he's a small one. Well, this morning, me and Tommy, we ran up north. We got up on a flat, a lot of sinny bee trees in the water. My partner reached over and grabbed a jerk bait, second cast. He put a three pounder in the live well. There's a bed right there. Nothing on it though. There's a bed right up here we found yesterday. We probably got about 13 or 14 pounds, something like that. I, we've, we've never fished this lake, so we, we really don't know if that's good, bad, or we've only, we've only practiced on it one time, and that was about probably a month ago. But uh, the conditions today were a lot favorable. It was raining for the two days that I was there. And uh, this has been a lot, we've caught a lot more fish today than we did when that high pressure yesterday. That black shaky head, that's what we've been catching everything on, pretty much other than the jerk bait all day today. And ultra clear water throwing a black bait. How about you now? Our final stop of the day will be with the team of Steve Phillips and Clyde Glenn. If it keeps, this will be fish number three. That may keep. Minnow scrub is hard to beat on this lake. Probably gonna give away a big secret, but that Strike King Minnow scrub is the deal. What color was that, bud? I'm fixing to change. Honey candy? All right. 15, but she'll keep. Man, it's been pretty slow for us, really. We had one fish probably 10 minutes ago, and then got a good and off, off into this little corner right here. It's been really, it's, it's been a tough bite all day today, guys. It's been slow, but the bites we have had have been pretty fair, just not been many of them. My partner here just stuck a seven pounder, so hope that might have to be enough. Heading back to the Belton Lake Outdoor Recreation Area, weigh-in is underway. We've got a total purse worth $93,000 up for grabs. Regular payout will pay down to 34th place, and contingency payouts will reach down to 57th nice place for qualifying today, anglers. Man. We'd like to thank Jersey Mike's for showing up to provide free subs to the anglers and their families. Good eats, guys. And now, we'll head to the scales. This is three-time Bassmaster Classic Super Six qualifier, Jeff Reynolds, his partner, Johnny Thompson. They've got a five bass limit for a total weight. Nice job today. Gonna get you up there in about the top five. We can get them to settle down. 1569, congratulations, Jeff. Catch a whole bunch of them today? Yeah, we caught a lot of fish. Caught a few sight fishing and caught some on spook and some on swim jig. With only two events left in the season, Jeff Reynolds and his partner are in the hunt for the Lucas Oil Team of the Year, as are the team of Kyle Rowe and Ted Pate. Rowe and Pate just weighed a limit for 1808 nice and fifth fish. place, and it was worth just over $3,000. Weighing just four fish, Steve Duncan and Harold Schluter finished out in fourth, earning themselves $3,800 for the day. $1,998, oh my goodness. Come on up, Charles. Try not to break the scales. Go easy on them. Five bass limit, total weight, and a new leader, 21, what's it going to settle in at? 2136. Congratulations. Great job. Me and we kind of junk fished and uh, hit a bunch of spots, and then finally we we caught one off a boat ramp and out of the stick ups, and that's what we kind of we did the rest of the day, uh, throwing flukes and sinkos and trick worms in the brush. How about that? Nice fish. Let's see what we can do here. We're looking for 662 to take the lead, and we did it 740. New leaders and new big bass leaders. Up next, it's the local team of Matt this Cannon and Jared Siegler. Heavy sack of fish. Set them in there real gently. Try not to break the scales. This is Matt Cannon and Jared Siegler with five bass. New leader, total weight, 25-22. Congratulations. Look at that, folks. 
When he caught that last five pounder, he said lights out. He said this thing's over. And look, if, you know, if you can do it, somebody else can too. But yeah. he he called it. You know, he called it at that point, man. That was a pretty exciting. When we put that last five pounder or six, whatever it was, in the boat, man, it was. We were stoked. What was we're, y'all's biggest one today? A seven and a half, right? Seven fifty-three. Yeah, seven fifty-three. So, but man, it was. Uh, wow, we got really pumped at that point. So, you know, it was it was good. Uh oh, I think we got a new big bass leader. I think we got a new big bass leader. This is the team of Kurt Luker and Lloyd Stewart. Okay, set them in here. We're gonna get the total weight, five bass limit, 23.85. That's gonna put you in second place overall. Let's pull that bag of fish out, set it on the ground. Let's grab that biggest bass. Look at that, folks. How about that for a Dutton Lake beast? Look at that, the eyes are bugging out. She's so big. Wow, what a fish, my goodness. Okay, we definitely have a new big bass leader. Let's see just how big this bass is. Big bass weight, 1397, a share lunker. Congratulations, guys. Fish care team, make sure they isolate this fish. We want to get this one turned into the share lunker program. We put it in the net and it was 328. We had to be in, way in at 345. And I was like, that was our fourth fish. And we didn't weigh her nothing. We put her in the box and, I, and he's like, let's go. I said, let me make one more cast up there. We got just a second and I threw back up there and caught a four pounder and that was our fifth fish. And I talked him into four or five more casts and lost one and, and missed one. But yeah. that was, it was something else. Angered by a nearly 14 pound fish, which is a new lake record, by the way. Luker and Stewart finish out in second behind the 2017 Lake Belton champions. Matt Cannon and Jared Siegler. They are the proud owners of a brand new Stratus 189 VLO with a 150 horsepower, valued at $332,395. Your Texas Team Trail Belton Lake champions. And before we wrap things up and head back to the house, let's check in on the Lucas Oil Team of the Year standings. With two events left, Kyle Rowe and Ted Pate have a slim lead over Jeff Reynolds and Johnny Thompson. A big thanks to the people of Belton, Temple, and Killeen for their hospitality. For visitors' information on the region, check out DestinationCentralTexas.com. For tournament schedules, contingency information, and registration, please visit TexasTeamTrail.com or check out the Texas Team Trail Facebook page. This has been a Carico TV presentation. Thanks for watching.